This morning, search crews are trekking through the devastation in Kentucky caused by deadly flooding. At least three people were killed. Another man is missing. Hundreds of homes were damaged or destroyed. Don Daler is in hard hit Staffordsville with the latest. Don, good morning. Good morning. As the waters continue to recede, residents have been venturing in to try to collect whatever belongings they can find, and they're getting a, a true sense of the extent of the devastation. One official who toured the area said it was simply gut wrenching. Across eastern Kentucky, thousands are still recovering from some of the worst flooding the area has seen in decades. To actually see such a long corridor of devastation. The force of that water took out power lines, took out homes, took out trees, took out infrastructure. It was just an incredibly forceful occurrence. A convoy of National Guardsmen rolled into Johnson County to help in the recovery effort. Meanwhile, utility crews worked to restore power to thousands. Search and rescue teams have been slogging through knee-deep mud over roughly eight miles of rugged terrain, looking for anyone still trapped inside their homes, marking orange X's over places they've already searched. Maybe lotions and soaps. Victims of the flooding have gathered at this local high school where food, water, and other supplies have been pouring in. Did you feel like it just happened in the blink of an eye? Oh, it was just real fast. I mean, it started raining, and within 15 minutes, it was up over our driveway. Right here. There's more by here. April Scarberry is a volunteer. So you just felt like you needed to come and help these other folks? It's very heartbreaking. Very heartbreaking. Most of the people who live here didn't have flood insurance because the last big flood that happened here was almost 60 years ago. Nora. Wow, Don, thank you so much.